Hello again, it's June back from poppyfieldcardcrafts.com and today I have this zigzag card to show you how I made. So we'll take off the, the band and it opens up like that. I haven't decorated the back um, as I'm this was just my demo card um, but if I do decide to send it to someone I will be adding the same papers on the back as what we have here. I've put the white card on there so I can uh, stamp a verse and write who it's from as well. It folds up very nicely and the band just slips on. That's now a four inch square card and I made this cute envelope for it to go into. I've got some double sided tape there so it'll just peel off and that will fasten very nicely. So let's get started. You need two pieces of card for your base, four inches by eight inches. And then you need three um, papers or card, three and three quarter inches square. And I'm using card for this. This is like a, um, well, it isn't yellow. Actually, I can't remember what colour it is, but this is a, a pearlized card that I'm using. And then I'm going to um, decorate it with this paper, which is three and a half inches square. So you would need three of these. Obviously, if you're going to do the back, you'll need more. So we have our two pieces of cardstock, four inches by eight inches and we need to do some scoring and we're going to score on the four inch mark And then from that corner to the point to the edge where we have just scored, we want to score a diagonal. So if I put that onto the six inch mark, doesn't matter, you could do it on five or seven. I, for some reason, always go for six. So the point, the corner is on six. We shall maneuver this to get that point onto the six inch mark as well. And then we will score. I want to do it I do like to score um, both ways because it breaks the fibres on your card. So six inches, six inches. There we are. I'm 
sorry about that. I'll just burnish that. So now I have two exactly the same. But what I need to do is, excuse me, <coughs> this now sits inside of there. But we need to take just a little bit off the edge, otherwise it won't fold properly. So I shall bring in this trimmer and I'm just going to take a slither away and that's all you can hardly see right as usual I'm going to use wet glue um, just for the time factor. So add the glue on the back. This is gorgeous card. Um, it's by Creative Expressions, this one. Um, metallic copper, I think it is. It really is. A gorgeous shade. Right, so they're together. And then what you need to do with your next layer is to cut on the diagonal. I've already done that. And I shall glue them on. I'm using Cosmic Shimmer Drives Clear. an excellent glue. I think I say this every time I use it. So that's the first layer. This is going in the middle. and the same applies to this the paper needs to be cut on a diagonal apart from the one you're putting there <coughs> excuse me so I'll put that down now like so
these measurements will also be on my blog um, which is scheduled for tomorrow Tuesday just going to take a little bit off this white card. I hadn't planned on putting um, that extra layer down. But I think it'll look a lot nicer. Sorry if my head was in the road there. And then I've made a die cut, um, birthday wishes, the same that was in the other card, uh, from this, well I will say lemon, uh, pearlized card, and the die is by Tonic, and that can sit on there, so we shall add Some glue to that and what I think would actually show it better but I'll, I'll go ahead with this um, I think if I'd made another die cut same sentiment but with this metallic copper and just put it behind there so you've got a shadow I think that would be more effective so I won't, I'm not going to adhere that onto the card. I really have decided I do need to have that uh, bronze, the metallic, sorry, metallic copper on there. So I'll put that to one side. What I need to do now is make the band to keep this together so 